hey guys how you all doing so this will be a quick video on how you can integrate a gendex chatbot okay which will look something like this okay uh, so how in this video i'll show you how you can integrate this kind of chatbot into your react application okay so first of all you have to like make a account on gendex and then go to messaging and chat live home message and chat live add gendex to your website go to step two and this will give you a script and and it will it will come with a key okay so you need this key this is the main important thing so let's see and by the way we are not going to use any kind of package so it will be really easy for you guys okay so right now i'm just going to delete all this crap by the way i'm using white dot config dot js okay so First of all, we are going to make a gendex config. Okay, so gendex config dot js, and now we are going to paste this thing. You don't need to worry about much about this. This is basically a class component which is checking if we can use the DOM, and if you can use the DOM, apply all the arguments which will take in gendex API and it's just the gendex api is basically where you are going to give arguments any kind of like these kind of things these kind of things i'll explain later in the part so right now you can just think of this 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 is basically what it is what it is doing is that this this whole thing is getting converted into react see we are making a script element and inside this we are passing this source and all that okay so now we are going to what you're going to do is that we're going to come into the main app and remember this key that i told you about this key now just pass this as like a constant okay and now we are going to use this gendex config into our app.js so go to here and import these gendex and gendex api i told you about these things right so okay you have to import like this gendex.config so you got this this gendex is the main thing your whole app and this gendex api is your parameters that you have to pass and now you're going to go to your root app and just pass this thing so basically it is taking that thing that gendex is gendex api key and if you just like, like run it now let's see so as you can see that it is showing me right now so if i like go to incognito and just run it you can see i have this thing if i click on this i'll get an option if i like do something like test a b one two and three and click on send so it will give me here conversion with test a one two three so if i like to something like hire me for react freelance projects so it will show you here see and if you want to like add some functionality right now it does not support i checked the docs it does not support much so right now it supports only these kind of things so like if you want to by default like right now it comes by default it comes with closed but if you want to by default make it open what you can do is that you can make a function you can make a function here and pass it here so by default now it will be open these so if i like so now if i like open it in incognito let's just open somewhere else okay so as you can see like right now it is coming by default open in open state so this is it like if you can if you want you can add these kind of things like if you want on read you can run this function and all that so right now there is not much to do about this 
but i think this is this one is enough for you guys so yeah this was it thank you for watching